storm just went through. So wet and getting foggy. Have the uh, vent tied open up there. And those are our doors. Those are plants, tomatoes, and on the far wall, celery and cauliflower or kale, and then cauliflower all the way down through there, and then peppers. And then on this side, that's all broccoli back in there, and this is all broccoli in buckets that we have to plant yet, and more tomato plants. And some herbs and a few of the garlic made it but note to self do not plant garlic in a high tunnel but there's the peppers this one of the little ones has a bloom on it and here's a hundred strawberry plants we're gonna try it this way this year I hope they grow because can't get any easier than that. Yep, that's all broccoli. I'm gonna eat a lot of broccoli. And more tomato plants. And these tomato plants, uh, no, not those. Those up there are the ones that Ashley and Sam did for us. And those are our awesome rows, our raised beds. Only took two days to do them, but they are awesome. And then a friend of ours gave us some corn. So there's four stalks of corn. There's our water system. We don't have our, um, our irrigation, irrigation um, hooked up yet. And then those are the the ropes that will hold the um, uh, tomatoes and then the the strawberries will go along that wall hanging off the wall somewhere we haven't figured that part out but we had to plant them they came in yesterday so that's what we've been doing if I'm not in bees I'm in here it got a hundred and four in here the other day and then Rick figured out how to tie up the vent there the vent so it would stay open and I bought me some flowers so um, I don't know what they are of course this is a lavender and it's a it's a vine it's um, it spreads out on the ground and this one does too I don't know what that is and I don't know what this is yep that makes no sense to me so it's a flower and it's supposed to be pretty.